but I don't remember myself anymore. This place does that to you. But maybe we can help each other. Do you see your lantern? Take it. lantern brings back objects from the past and even fixes them. It makes the house remember how it used to be. The gate is missing something. Stealth built a house and filled it with his toys. Six guests came one night, their screams the only noise. The toy maker's house. I, I need to remember what happened. I remember his voice playing on a record. There should be a gramophone here, right in the foyer. You brought it back, back from that evil night. in the foyer for now, as I have prepared a warm welcome for you all in the dining room. I remain your humble host, Henry Stout. This house is filled with memories. If you find them, we can learn what happened. I I'll show you. You just have to stand in the right place and look. Edward? Yeah? We're so far from everything. And what about the rumors? Eleanor, they're just that. They're rumors. Okay? Now shape up. We need to make a good first impression. Stauff has spent his fortune wisely. <laughs> Never mind the smell. A bit dreary in here, don't you think? Martine, burden. Maybe you've seen me on Broadway. 
Regrettably not. Brian Dutton, your own business. Mm. A colleague of Mr. Stout's. That must be nice. I've never met the man, though I am intrigued by his success. Mm. Hello? How rude. Hamilton Temple. <laughs> Illusionist extraordinaire. Julia Hine of the Hine Hotel. I don't suppose you know the toy maker either, do you? No. But I heard he was run out of town. What did happen to the chips? Oh, pish posh. Where's the dining room? I'm starving. Ah, a premonition. Ah, spirit dictates it's this way, my queen. If you say so, magic man. He was a foundling, forced to grow up in a grim and grimy orphanage. A quiet child, without any friends. So he made his own. Soon he discovered he could entertain the other children with the puppets he had made. Everyone loved the shows young Henry put on. Staff's not joining us for dinner. I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. Great. Is there anything to drink? My dear Mr. Knox, how good of you to come during these difficult financial times. But I believe everybody deserves a second chance. Just as I got a new lease on life. And tonight, I want to return that favor by welcoming the elite of our community to my house. This house is a mystery for all my guests to solve. A real head-scratcher. Mr. Knox. <laughs> With only you. One reward to fulfill your wildest dreams. But each guest must solve the mystery for themselves. Those are the rules of the house, and that is how the game is played. In the morning, only one guest will leave this house. A winner. I remain your staunchest supporter. Enemy stuff. Look, you can see the available rooms, and it even can give hints. It can even solve puzzles for you. If you're stuck, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. That's a 
South Coin. If you're stuck, you can spend that at the Spirit Board in return for solutions. for dessert. Thank you. Enjoy your little victory while it lasts. Staff seems to know all about us. Yes, he himself seems to have vanished. Matt, how wonderful. Oh, who gives a damn? Will you look at that ghastly cake? I suppose we should indulge just to be polite. Allow me. Marvelous. I think I'll stick to the wine, thank you. Surprise, surprise. Think I belong on the Great White Way? Sure, I did my stint as chorus girl, but lately all I can get are local gigs. And every great artist needs a patron. Miss Bird, whatever you're offering, I'm not interested. <laughs> and if there's one person to solve Staff's mystery, it will be me, alone. We'll see about that.
Henry Stauff, the wicked toy maker. Stauff's looking to make a deal, but the right deal needs the right information. Stauff must have hidden something here. Stauff's been hiding his secrets. When Henry left the orphanage, he started moving from town to town, taking his puppets with him. He performed at county fairs and opened for many well-known magicians. seems to know my taste. Perhaps there's a clue in here. Dear Mr. Titan, welcome 
to my house. I've watched your rise to the elite of our little town with great interest. And, and because of this, I want to offer you the following arrangement. You want to spend the night as my guest, and in exchange, I will give you your heart's most secret desire. And you know what that is, Mr. Dunn, don't you? <laughs> but I require one thing of you, a deal, a transaction that I have set up for you. You may wonder what that deal is, and <laughs> that is all part of the game. This is all I can tell you, Mr. Dutton. In the morning, only one of my guests will walk out of this house with his or her every wish granted. Your partner in business, Henry Staff. That's no good. I'm pretty sure I need to light all the tiles.
Thank you. No! South Toys Internal Operations, 1925. <laughs> the old fool. Trade secrets. No wonder he kept them in a safe. Blank pages. What in God's name? Mr. Dutton, bring me the boy. For a song. <laughs> Boy, what song? For a song. Trust no one. Eyes on the prize. Secrets will be mine. Strange toys. Seems like Stauf is up to his old tricks. Just like your ABCs.
Ralph is toying with us. How can he possibly have that letter? A train set. Stauff? Really? knows too much. The debts. But how? Perhaps he wants to help us. Our heart's deepest desire. <laughs> what? There! What? That word! Don't you see? The blood! There's nothing there. Eleanor! Eleanor! There's nothing! Eleanor, we have to win this prize money. Do, do, do you want to see me locked up by our creditors? Do you? Shape up, Eleanor. No more of your spells. Not today. I just need a moment. Hmm. Stop. 
Gustav must help us out. He must. to have when I was younger. Is this part of Stauff's game, perhaps? Sliding coffins. How macabre. life, all twisting and turning. Thank you. 
cradle to the grave, huh, staff? <laughs> you haven't beaten me yet. It's complete again. Oh dear. Is that me? These bags. These wrinkles. So many mistakes. If only I could start over. What are you hiding, Stauf? Now this seems all rather straight. You're mocking me, Stauf. You seem to know all about me, Mr. Stauff. But care to tell me about you and your magic? But when the Great Depression struck, the young puppeteer fell on hard times. The towns that used to welcome him now left him out in the cold. inside a box. I get it, Stauf. You want me to play escape artist? Thank you. 
rabbits out of hats and sawing a lady in half. Stout sure loves the classics. This looks like a job for the incredible shrinking hat. That was a bit more challenging. Now what is this next trickery? Presto, now. Let's see who's hiding in here. <laughs> I know you're here somewhere. I know you can hear me. Just last forever. Oof. Oh, careful, Miss uh, Martine. Oh, uh... I'm sorry, Edward. Is it? seem to be a bit turned around. Understandable. <laughs> uh, everyone has retired to their rooms with a plan to rendezvous in the library at, at, at eight. <clears throat> a stutter. How charming. Since I was a child. <laughs> well, it's nothing to be ashamed of. At least you've got the brains for these puzzles. I'm just a dopey little actress. Sure, you're very talented. <laughs> Say, why don't we form a team? Your intellect and my charisma. Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Well, give it a think, sugar. I'll await your answer in my room after the library rendezvous, where it's nice and private. So, 
things may be a bit out of place. Without an audience, Henry Stauff the puppeteer became destitute. Forced to sell his puppets for a pittance, he started looking for jobs. But there were none, and no one would take the outsider in. library without books? Unlikely. Oh yeah, there's something going on here. I can move the weights of the clock. Well, there they are. But now, how to get them to their proper place?
back in order. Thank you. No! These bookcases were moving by themselves. And earlier, a skeleton came alive right before my very eyes. I saw blood. Well, I was in my room getting my beauty rest. Perhaps you should do the same. All I saw was a dusty bedroom in need of a cleaning service. Oh, don't look at me. I didn't see anything. Oh, I'm bored. I'm going to the kitchen. Maybe I can find a talking skeleton that'll pour me a drop of the hard stuff. Wait! We shouldn't go walking alone. We might be in danger. If you've read anything about Mr. Stout's thoughts... Oh, tell me you don't believe in that gossip. There's no danger. This is just a harmless little party. Even if the house was haunted, I could fend for myself. This is a game, nothing more. One of us is going to win that prize money. I say, every man for himself. It may be a game, but only Stealth knows the rules. Some party. Pathetic. Mr. Temple, I feel there's someone else with us. Not a spirit. A seventh. Someone frightened. You have the gift. Edward refers to them as my spouse. He says I'm hysterical, but it's not my imagination. It's... Oh, my dear, I understand. More than most. But whatever. But what do you want? Maybe my gift could help people. I've always liked children. Edward and I never. I should lie down. Allow me to escort you upstairs. I will be in the game room, playing cards. We'd like some company. You know where to find me. My honored guests, Harley on the Hudson's finest. Please feel free to use the downstairs kitchen if you're feeling a little peckish. And I think you'll find the upstairs game room is most entertaining. After all, you can never have too many games. <laughs> if only we could play forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Something just move over there? Magic bookcases? Living skeletons? Ridiculous. Now where does staff keep the wine? But where is staff, for that matter? As Stauff's money ran out, he went to his bank, but they refused to give him a loan. With nothing left to barter with, he resorted to begging, ignored by all. No one spared him a dime. warm summer breeze turned into a cold winter gale.
What's this brew? Soup? Not bad, but it needs a little something. Just what the suit needed. That's one. And that makes two. A little bit of spice will give it more flavor. frozen to the plate.
One meatball coming up. Now it's a proper brew. <laughs> Don't think you'll be so lucky next time. What do you want? Show yourself! Looking for me? <gasps> Bring me the boy. Nice and clean! bad. Like something rotten. Here, little piggy, piggy, piggy. when the moment is right. Oh, this house just gets under my skin. Stay calm, Hamilton. It's all an illusion.
All this just for me? Incredible! I wonder if the rooms of the other guests are this fancy. Embittered, he started to resent all those sanctimonious townspeople. In desperation and out of spite, he turned to a life of crime. Driven out of town, he hid in the neighboring woods and robbed those who crossed his path at knife point. All alone during the cold winter nights, Stauff was surrounded by nothing but shadows, creeping ever closer. How can he possibly have these? the generous host. When I press the gems, the ones next to it also change.
Time to unite these two lovers. How romantic. Solved. Time to do some dancing of my own. I just need a partner. So, the... the, the puzzles? Screw the puzzles, sweetheart. Eddie, you're a smart man. We need to beat the others to the punch. Julia's a drunk. Hamilton's a fool, and Eleanor is a little lamb. But that snide Mr. Dutton... He is a snake. Mm, he's ruining everything. I wish he would just... disappear. Let me handle him. Oh, Eddie. You do that? For me? For us? So that we could both get what we really want. Don't make me guess. Oh, I wouldn't dare. When I'm done here, I won't have to depend on anyone, ever, again. Puzzles? But if I play my cards right, I'll be out of this hellhole of a town come morning. And this time, for good. Ah, the madman's playroom. Hmm. Well, there must be something here to explain all of this. on any direction.
a chess piece. Probably part of another one of Staub's Twisted Games. Another chess piece. Well, I see where this is going. were true. Something feels very wrong here. Lara! The dolls seem to be having a tea party. But who sits where? Shadows surrounding Stauff started to call his name. They were his friends, they whispered. And then they entered his dreams. They showed him a beautiful doll. It seemed alive somehow, its gaze haunting. The next day, the image still festered in his mind, and he carved the small figure out of a dead branch. And he made the doll just as he saw it in his dream.
Bella. Ken. Petunia. Petunia. For a child. Stealth, you have a very sick mind. Doll, do you belong to? Ben. The dolls seem to be having a tea party, but who sits where?
there we go. All in the right place. So detailed. So full of... Children. Can't you hear them? Listen! <sighs> My dear, uh, I must confess, uh, I'm not at all gifted. I'm not even from the Far East. I'm from the Bronx. Help me! I can't move! stories were all true. Every child who played with a stout doll fell ill and died. These dolls... Contain the children's souls! The blood of six and the seventh guest. The one who opens rows. The, the toy maker's revenge. The boy on the chessboard. Save him! Please! We have to get him out of here before the others get to him. You go upstairs. I'll go down. Look at all those puzzles. It's a theremin. Move your hand to the antenna and the note goes up. The voice has sent him to an inn at the nearby town of Harley on the Hudson. The innkeeper had a daughter. Stauff offered the doll and in turn got a place to stay. A simple transaction. The first of many.
markings on those keys are some kind of code. mine now. So, that's Stout's game. Good boy. Step aside, Mr. Dutton. Go to hell. I found him. I'll take him to Stout and I'll be the... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Dutton is no longer a problem. Good. Where's the boy? What boy? He escaped when, uh, what? you were- What? Eddie! 
Uh, Look at me. Uh, the boy. He's the one Stauff wants. Our prize. Quick, let's split up and find them before the others do. You look upstairs. Hurry. Edward. Edward. I'll win the prize, and then it'll be all right. Just watch. I must remind you all that the attic and basement area beyond the kitchen are strictly off limits. You know what curiosity did to the cat, but they have lives to spare. yourself. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Tick tock. Tick tock. Kid, are you up here? The voices told Stauff to open up a shop, and soon every boy and girl in town wished for a Stauff toy. A Stauff toy is a toy for life, people said, and no two are alike. The mysterious Mr. Stauff grew wealthy overnight. Ah, uh, the wires are all fried. These must be Stauff's designs.
Brian Dutton. All business, no remorse. Out for glory and no one to watch his back. It's a model of the house. Ah, is this where you planned out all your twisted little games, Stauff? to help. Come with me to safety. I said shut uh, up! Uh, 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 shut uh, up! Uh, uh, that must have opened something inside the house. I think I know where. Down in the basement. That old bubba buffoon. <laughs> Then the strange sickness came, and children started dying, dying, clutching their stealth toys close. Cemeteries, far and wide, began filling up with small coffins. When the rumors started spreading, the fingers pointed at the toy maker.
This looks disturbing. What could it mean? Enjoy your little victory while it lasts. Got it. Oh no, that poor boy. Stuff must be stopped. The little lamb. <gasps> All by yourself. What are you doing here? We have to help the warrior. Everything's... Who's we? You and that has-been magician. <laughs> You're such a pushover. And so is your husband. One look, and he was mama mama. You little mint! I'll wrap that toy maker around my pinky finger before the night is over. My, my, Miss Martine, the things I've seen. You and your little lackey. Out of my way, why not? I'm as sober as an ice cream soda on New Year's Eve. What are you hiding? I said move. Oh, <laughs> you don't have the guts, old hag. Ta-ta! 
I'd rather be an old hag than a dead whore. Now, to find the boy. Auntie Julia's got a little treat for you. Roach Hotel.
Yes! All of them are trapped. So, you live to play another day. <sighs> Boy, are you here? Boy, are you here? You're in terrible danger. You must come with me right now. What is your name? It's Tad. Yes, Tad. My name is Hamilton. Give me your hand. Oh, there you are. Oh, nice and clean. It's time to meet Mr. Stan. Time to go. <laughs> Time to meet Mr. Stauff. This is my last warning. The attic is strictly off limits. Don't let me catch anyone sticking their nose where it does not belong. Mr. Stauff. Temple, a life devoted to pretense, but yearning for real magic, real power. Never was. Elegant 
being selfish and out of luck. round in circles every night and every night you become weaker Time for this. The other side is all you think about. Get in, you little brat. <laughs> when we go through these doors, there's no turning back. Do you have everything you need? I couldn't confront the Toymaker. I panicked and the other children pulled me away. 
to a place outside of time. But even there, time runs out. That's a doll of me? Let's fix my doll. We might be able to stop this horrible curse. Now where's that nose? Great, my nose is back, but my face is still a mess. Can you push all the pieces in? Only together can we stop him, and we must stop him now. <laughs> Mr. Staff, I have your boy. Shall I tell you my wish? Your wish, but of course. I wish to be young again. To know everything that I know now, but without the wrinkles and the backaches. I could just start over. Things would be so different. It has to be your wish. <gasps> this is perfect. Perfect. Change me back! Help! Eve, it's wasted up here. But here you are. We've been waiting for you for such a long time. Are you really the toy maker? I was. But with their help, I've become so much more. And so can you. So can you. One final game. 
That's not how I run my business. I settle things the old-fashioned way. Winner takes all. So cold here, so empty. This is where they live. The whispers, the voices, and they're hungry. They want a new home. There's something up there. Let's see. His final game has not begun yet. We need to start it. That lens! Try attaching it to your lantern. The stage is set. Are you ready? You might want me to explain the rules to this game, but I don't think I will. Your move! Use your lantern to select and guide the souls.
Your turn, Professor. My turn. Great, an extra roll. We get another turn. Professor. My turn. No! Oh, <laughs> tough luck, partner.
my turn. Your turn, Professor. My turn. And now it's your turn. What? Professor. Thank you. Excellent. Just one more soul to go. The blood of the seventh guest. No. Bye bye. Back to square one. <laughs> Your move. That won't help you. Your move! Well done, Professor. My turn. Down you go. Join your little friends. Your move. We get another turn. We get to roll again. It should be safe from the toy maker there. Now it's my turn. Your move! We get to roll again! Stop us! Not anymore! 
good. It's protected. And now, it's your turn. To do. Henry, stop! Your spell has been broken! No! They told me what to do! The children's souls set free, the raging voices turned silent once more. The house remained hungry as ever. As for the toy maker, he seemed to have vanished. But real boogeymen rarely disappear for good. Oh, oh, oh.